I'm with Cynthia Harianto uh, from the PB PRC booth, and these guys claim to have been in business for, what'd you say, 50 years doing accessible technology? Yep, 50, 50 years, started in 1966. And this is uh, primarily for those with uh, what kind of disabilities? Uh, speech impairments, so needing some type of technology for communication. Okay, so 50 years ago, that's what? Sticks and rocks? How did that work? <laughs> So I believe uh, the first, uh, the way the company started was two guys who were engineers. Um, wanting That's how to bad people. things always start, you know, it's always a mess. <laughs> started tinkering in their garage. Uh, the first product that I know of is kind of like this giant metal box um, and it, people would kind of tap a button essentially and put it with Morse code and then out would come a strip of paper that printed out what their message was that they wow. said Morse code. Wow. Uh, so, <laughs> so sticks and rocks. There you go. Okay, so what do we got in front of us? We've got three displays. By the way, this is uh, mostly an audio podcast, so okay. describe as much as you can of what you're seeing. So where do you, which one do you want to start with here? Okay. Um, so we currently, our current line of products is called the Accent Line, and we have um, different communication devices in different sizes. All of our devices can be accessed through um, touch with your hand through switch access if you're not good with using your hands um, or with eye gaze or a head mouse um, so our so to any of the audience that hasn't heard of uh, switch technology these are basically buttons that you can push maybe with a tilt of your head something against your cheek that sort of thing yeah so you're thinking um, someone with a pretty significant physical challenge often someone who uses switches doesn't have great um, vision either so they are relying on the switch to also get an auto prompt to hear what word they're on as they're going through their choices um, and they might not be able to use their hands so they might be using a head to press yeah. the switch or a yeah. knee to press the switch whatever body movement they can use um, to get access to technology is made famous by Stephen Hawking of course right? uh, yeah <laughs> that that access method is actually pretty similar to what Stephen Hawking uses yeah. yeah okay so we've got three tablets in front of us here kind of a small medium and larger tablet what are these doing yep. for us um, so what we have set up First, I guess the smallest one is called the Accent 800. So it has um, an eight inch touch screen. It's our most portable option. It has a little carry strap on the bottom. So someone who um, had a disability but was mobile, like uh, maybe a little guy with autism who's running around would strap the, uh, put the strap over their shoulder and then be able to pull it up. No, um, and no, no, then they swing it around it. and hit their sister or, with it. Or they, yeah, or that, <laughs> you know. So let's keep it pointed towards him. <laughs> yep. so, so what would we do with this? I see a bunch of uh, little symbols. I see a name tag. I see a thumbs up. Yeah, so um, the symbols on the screen um, are, this is sort of a beginning vocabulary layout. So the bottom part of the screen always stays the same. So if I was hungry and wanted something to eat, I could press the apple that says eat. And then I could hit my... Um, oh, and uh, then the top row just changed, so changes, it's context so, aware. Yep. Pretzel. Eat pretzel. Got a pretzel. Um, or maybe I um, don't want to eat something, so I don't uh, want eat yogurt. No, that's too healthy. <laughs> don't want to eat yogurt. Don't want to eat yogurt. Want, want to eat French fries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I want to eat um, ooh. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> there I you want go. To eat pizza. So she's just hitting buttons that are mm -hmm. forming senses, so it's context aware and allows you to. Yep. And the bottom part of the screen always stays the same. So our, we have a big focus on single words because we need to use single words to communicate our own thoughts versus having all stored pre-programmed phrases on a system that's kind yeah. of someone else, some adult came in and guessed, tried to, you know, <laughs> do I would like some flavorful broccoli, please. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so so this we is the get combine, Yep. And so if someone was just learning, we could also hide buttons on the screen to help them uh, when they're first starting out. So I could hide everything and say, I'm just practicing the words play and go and stop. And then everything else is gone while I'm learning, learning those words. Oh, I see. So as yep. she eliminated them, she's just got three buttons showing now so that the, the student who's trying to learn to use this would just have three to choose from. You got it. Very cool. Okay, so yep. that's the Accent 800. That's the Accent 800. Let's go medium next. Sure. Medium is the Accent 1000. We can leave so, it sitting down there okay. if it's easier. Um, so the Accent 1000 has a 10-inch screen. Um, it's currently set up to be used with switches like we were talking about a minute ago. So for someone who doesn't have good um, control of their hands to touch a screen and might also have a visual impairment. Um, I so also we see a big red button yep, and a big yellow big button. Big yellow button. So it... So I'll just go through the switch axis. So switches mean that I'm, I'm hitting my big red button and it's moving through my choices. It's saying, tell me more, stop, 
go. Let me listen to this. Hello. Hello. I heard the word I want, and I'm hitting my yellow button now Hello. to speak it. So that second voice is kind of like a kid's voice, so that would be the one that's coming out to say my, say my message. Okay. Okay. First voice telling me what word I'm on in case I can't see the screen um, because oh, right. I have a visual impairment. Second voice speaking my message out to the listener. Now, there's yep. only a grid of eight buttons here. I'm, mm -hmm. I have trouble picturing I'd be able to have a lot of communication right. with eight yep. buttons. So it starts with eight and then it keeps growing and the words stay oh, in the same learn? spot. Yeah. Oh. And, and so like go, for instance, is always three red presses away. More, stop, go. And I hit my yellow button. Okay. And then when I go up to the next level, oh. it's going to grow with me. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, six different levels um, that someone could progress through. So as it's got the built-in training. Uh -huh. Wow. Yep. So next, one of the next levels is called Pathway. I'm going to go in so there. She's clicking some buttons. Oh, now holy cow. Have, we had eight buttons. Now, now there's have, about 200 there's, of them. There's uh, 80, 84 buttons on the screen wow. now. Um, but I'm still going to say go the same way. One, two three red presses, and then I say, go. go. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. So it's going to keep growing, and the words stay in the same order. Okay. You can also use this Accent 1000 for touch or with eye gaze, um, so with a camera that could go on the bottom of it to track your eyes, to control it all with your eyes you as well. Have, okay. Uh-huh. All right. Yep. So is that is this someone I played with earlier with uh, this? No. So oh okay, yeah, yeah, no, it was. Yep. So there's also what I have on here is a we head need mouse. To do a demo here. Of yeah. Me doing so this. we'll do a. There we go. We're gonna check out the New Point head mouse on the Accent 1000. The New Point can go on actually any size device. So right that's now. the camera that's this mounted the on the camera, top. Yep, and it shines in infrared light that's gonna shine off of this um, little silver dot and then reflect back on the screen to make a selection. Um, so I'm gonna put you on a setup. Put me on Where that simple could. screen with four, yep. bu eight buttons. With eight buttons? Yeah, I might be able to do. I might be okay. able to pull that one off. All right. Steve we'll likes it when that. I do this, so I look like an idiot. By the way, that's our <laughs> and goal. And let me here. turn on, turn the head mouse feature on okay. quickly. Okay. Yeah. She's just changing some settings on the screen right now, so changing that I can. It. Yep, changing it so it's gonna recognize the silver dot instead of the switches. All right. So it looks like you pretty much need somebody to, to help keeping this programmed up for you. Well, I guess you'd it's figure consistent. out the settings, and then and then it would it wouldn't be changing all the time. Keep yeah, yeah, you'd be okay. Keeping it there. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, highlight the buttons so they turn a color. Do you have a certain color that you like? Pink. Pink. All right, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more purple pink. Is that yeah, okay? Purple pink's okay. okay. Well, we can work with that. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. So it's gonna okay. turn pink if I select it correctly. Yeah. As you're looking at it, it's gonna turn pink, so you have an idea of where um, where you're at. Okay. On the screen. Okay. Uh, pink right. over the color, so, so it might glasses? well see. Can I yep. put glasses, glasses on? on? Glasses? Yep, you can put glasses uh, on probably, glasses. So usually, usually you would just have the little silver dot and you'd stick it right on, on, your, your, own glasses. on your forehead or on your glasses. Oh, you can do that. Oh. Yep, like the guy up, up oh, there. He's got up an, on our, we have okay. a picture of a guy who uses um, a head mouse just like you, and he actually works at Ohio University. So oh, cool. speaking with one of these. Okay, devices. so yep. I'm going to get down in here. And you can see a cursor moving around. Hang on, I gotta, yep. I gotta adjust it like you taught me. Okay, so let's see. You're gonna see. hold it over the button you go? want to say, yeah. and then more. Yep. My, um, turn. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's My. how kids learn so language. So I'm, <laughs> I'm controlling this, and now yeah, she chose. Hello. Hello. Oh hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Stop. Okay. So. Wow, that's pretty cool. So just with this little uh, little dot in the middle of my glasses there, I'm able to communicate by doing that. You got it. Wow, that is very cool. So How do you like those glasses? Those are nice. You yeah, might, that's, it's pretty nice. Repl replace the style for this one. <laughs> Swap them out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually like those. They're nice and light. Okay. So that um, was the accent, the accent 1000. 1000. Yep. And now we're up to and the now big we're boy. Up to the big boy. Yep. The accent. 1400. 1400. Um, currently, so the same software we saw on all of these can all run on any different device. Are these all um, Android underneath? They're all, no, it's all Windows based computer oh. that PRC has built specifically for our hardware and oh, software. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, to run it, to make it make it run optimally. Okay. Um, so what we see here is it's set up on the vocabulary called Essence. That's for um, an adult um, such as maybe an adult with ALS who um, has all the, they've already learned language, they're not a kid who's starting to learn language, so they oh, okay. just need a way to get it out. So primarily okay. based on keyboard and word prediction, um, and it's set up for um, eye gaze, so you can control it all with your eyes.
Oh, okay. So not yeah. even the glasses. Not even the glasses. No. Nope. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Do you want to try, or should yes. I? Yes. Should I? Dem okay, you're going to try. If it makes fun of me, that'd be the best. Uh, okay. okay. So here's I'm gonna. Here's the the first part. Um, we might actually give you a chair. You want to sit down? No, I can. I can you squat. Can squat? Okay. Oh, she's got a chair right here. She's Why got a not? chair. Why not? All right. Take it. <laughs> Kara wanted something to do anyway. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So I do have to lower. I'm gonna lower it down to. Your height. And so this is when you're really, I call this with kids, you're going to get the booger shot. That's what I say. So we're going to find out <laughs> what's going to get a zoom in right, right now. Right up the nose. To make sure uh, you're in the right spot. All Ooh, right. There I you told go. you, I kind of warned you a little bit. Nice. That yeah. is making fun of me. Yeah, okay. So okay. the screen just found my eyes the to the people who are listening. Eyes, and now okay. I'm going to see, we're going to look at, um, um, there's going to be a dot that comes in the middle of the screen. Okay. And I want you to follow it um, around while it moves, just looking okay. at it. So it's calibration mode. It's calibration okay, I'm mode, looking at yeah. it. So I'm holding my head still, right? Yep. Just looking with your eyes. It's like I'm having an eye test. There's a little blue ball bouncing around on the screen. I'm looking at it. I'm allowed to blink, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Perfect. Complete. That was pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. I passed the so first gonna... test. I followed a bouncing ball. Yeah. So I'm going to have you, why don't you start with like a target practice to get okay. um, used to it. Okay. So we're going to. Test, test, test okay. your accuracy now. Okay. See if you can unpause yourself. There's a little red line on the top of the screen. Can you look there, there you until go. it turns green? Got awesome. it. Now look at the target. Boom. Cool. Am I allowed to turn my head? or? You can, yeah. But it's more with your eyes. It takes something Wait, I don't, oh, to get used to. You put to, it the yeah. same spot twice. That messed oh. me up. Man. All right. I'll tell the engineers <laughs> to fix it. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> Oh, the grid's getting smaller. It's getting uh -oh, smaller. Not... Uh oh, you're up to there 84 you buttons on the screen now. Wow. So I'm I'm basically just looking at this yeah. thing. No, I can't get that one. It's tough in the corner. <laughs> okay. Do you need help? Yeah, I can't yeah. get to that. I'm try even to, faking. Try to look below it. Okay. Even. Uh, no, I can't get really there. Really hard in the corner. I'm looking at the box two over to the left. Ooh. There, I had to go two over to the oh, left. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was two over to the left to get to that one. All right, so bottom right, right corner, we got to work on your vision. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no. I well, now you have a grid of 144 buttons. Oh, I'm never going to hit that. Oh, I got it. You got it? See, I yeah. don't think it's me. I think that thing's out of care. Uh-oh. I'm staring yeah. right at that. So I think, yep, so we'd have to do a calibration where you'd look at more points on the screen yeah. to be able to get that small okay. of an area. Yeah, but wow, that is you pretty got cool. to, I think, 60 squares on the screen before you That's even... That's a good struggle. score, huh? Tell me, Cynthia, that I did a, a very, good job. It was an excellent, <laughs> excellent job. Yeah, so someone um, who had um, ALS, or if it was, it would be a different setup for a kid um, who needed to, who had good vision, they but didn't have good motor like control. Yeah, so we'd wow. go, they would be able to not only type, but they could also do all their computer functions. So I could use a keyboard with word prediction. And you're doing that with your finger, but I could I'm be doing, typing yep, with my eyeballs, right? You could be right? typing with your eyeballs, so I'm all gonna. Right. Well, I think we better yeah. we better call it. But this is now the um, yeah. so this was the Action 1400, and the company yep. is PRC. How would people find out more about the products? You would go to our website with our tricky name, <laughs> printrom.com. And how would you spell that? P R E N T R O M dot com. There it is on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. All right, Cynthia. Thank you very much. Yep. This You're is welcome. Really interesting. This <laughs> Thanks. Is cool stuff.